How y'all doing? And welcome. Appreciate y'all for joining us, pushing that button. So, I, I forgot what the hell I say. I'm Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining. Please remember, go around to the Willie Williams Show dot Check out a few things. If you'd like to see what we call the event video, please go around to the OnlyFans. The Willie Williams Show. The link is down there in the description. Like the support the machine, everything down there in the description. This is a sad, sad day for all you old, um babies out there that's been checking the bag and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been getting that paper out there, busting it open, doing strange on OnlyFans. Y'all really been doing a lot. A lot of y'all been doing the most, and they ain't been getting compensated like a lot of other people have been getting compensated because it was like new monkeys that we will see a new mouth piece or new nakedness that we will see but when like y'all was like regular bit like we really wasn't really trying to see that right there so y'all like got less subscribers and less people paying to see that little ragged at uh, um to see your beautiful bodies and stuff in the sex acts that y'all would be doing. But anyway, OnlyFans says that it is banning sexual explicit content. That mean um, <laughs> gagging and swallowing and shit. That mean getting peed in on camera. You know, they call them cream pies. I don't know if somebody had them told me that right there. But the company in the, it, 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 is the latest digital platform to crack down on such material, the site has become a source of income for millions during the coronavirus pandemic. That's what's up. It goes on to say OnlyFans is a social media platform where users can sell that monkey, uh, sell subscription access to content, said on Thursday that it would ban sexual explicit imagery starting in October. I don't know what you bitches ain't got no talent other than taking your clothes off, which we love but if that's all that it is and now we can't see i honestly don't know why people was actually i do know because we just like shit but um like porn is free i don't but hell if you hey do what you like i really ain't tripping like that pay for shit i i I understand because I'm in the business of getting paid for content too. So that's what's up. I ain't knocking shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got the OnlyFans, the Willie Williams Show too. I just don't take it all off because you know what I'm saying? Play over 40 and fine out here. I might break the internet like bad baby. Um, but anyway, the company said in a statement that it would be that it would block users from posting explicit photos and videos at the request of its banking partners and payout providers you gotta ask yourself you really gotta ask yourself the majority of people in my mind that really make the big bucks have been what they are now classifying themselves as sex workers that's what's up it's been females taking off their clothes and busting it open for us to see so is this like a women's hate group? I thought this was women's lib and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe because there's some players out here that's busting it open and taking it off and showing that meat and all that fly shit right there. Maybe they didn't want the fellas to be making the money if it would have like been only like the females or something. But that's kind of strange to me. Banking partners and payout providers as if everybody, the majority of people on earth like porn but since we're the banking partners we have morals and shit like that right there that's what's up but only fans said it will still allow people to post imagery containing nudity that comply with his guidelines what the fuck is nudity and well what is the difference in nudity and sexually explicit imagery that's what's up. Say, in order to ensure the long term um, sustainability, big where I hear the screech of the platform, the company said that we must eat, we must evolve our content guidelines. Well, let me explain something to um, OnlyFans. Y'all do know because people been buzzing it open, is what blew up your, plat your platform. So I do understand people being upset. Hold on, hold on, hold on, swole up. We've been showing our monkey gagging, getting peed in and all that flat shit right there, taking all these meats and shit to get y'all where y'all need to be and now y'all gonna bag on about the game. 
I don't think OnlyFans thought this through. A spokeswoman for the company did not respond to the questions about who had made the request or what had prompted the shift. Yeah, what group came out and said, well, this is absurd. And this is a place where you have to go and pay to see shit. This is not the way the kids can just go on it and see that this is not where the people who's affiliated with the banking partners can just go and see. You know they actually have to pay for shit to actually see what's on people page. The change come as OnlyFans has struggled to secure funding from investors who are hesitant to associate with the company's sexual explicit material. Access uh, AXIOS reported. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm educated. So it was not clear how OnlyFans, which is based in in Britain, would determine which which images, like I just said, which images of videos featuring nudity were sexually explicit once the ban took effect. The company already blocks posts containing sexual assault, violence, or bestiality, and it bars minors from the platform. Minors, rightfully so. Sexual assaults, I cool. Violence, though. We can see violence on Facebook. We can see violence on Instagram. We can see violence on the news. We can see violence all across the internet. But y'all, y'all be blocking violence? That's what's up. And bestiality. How y'all know that the animals don't want to do something with humans? Who the fuck made that decision? I, I, I don't mm. I think it's a uh, oh, oh, oh the OnlyFans has has become a source of income to two million creators, including like I said earlier, sex workers during the pandemic. You know, people who selling that monkey. <laughs> they were selling that monkey indoors. Now the company said that it had helped to to the fuck demo democratize. Democratize sex workers. Democratize. That big word. Bitch, I'm educated. Democratize. I just couldn't see. I couldn't put the words together. Democratize sex work in part by letting creators effectively run their own businesses and own the content that they post on the site. Creators have collectively earned more than 4.5 billion since OnlyFans started nearly five years ago. The company had done said the platform has more than 130 million users who pay monthly fees to creators to view feeds and imagery that often too racy for Instagram or TikTok. With the access subscription, well, subscribers can also can also send direct messages and tip creators to get pictures or videos on demand according to their sexual tastes. Celebrities have joined the platform in the past year, helping helping to usher it into mainstream media, um, into the mainstream. Cardi B, Tiger, Chris Brown, and Bella Throne. Um, Bella Throne have all set up profiles, social medias, and influencers have also hopped on board, including many from TikTok and YouTube. That's us. Um, the YouTube star Tanny, somebody, joined OnlyFans last year. The Instagram influencer Caroline Calloway said that she earned six figures by sh sharing literacy, li literally inspired pornographic pornography on her page anyway scratch all that shit people mad people pissed off because <laughs> a lot of people done been out here in interviews and on shows and shit i do six figures when as players on a lot of these shows we're trying to tell you but i hope you i hope that y'all is dipping and dabbing in like some other things like investing your money and don't have all your eggs in one basket is basically what the players been trying to tell the baby but you know they got their nose up and shit and got their monkeys wet and you can't tell a bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? They've been saying this some months ago. But, mm-mm. We only want high-value men now because we check our own bag. That's what's up. We only want high-value men now because we check our own bag. Bitch, what was you doing before OnlyFans? 
Walmart, Wawa, Chick-fil-A, you know, jobs. This is a sad day. What the hoes gonna do? Players, you might got an opportunity. Listen. Listen. Car notes and shit ain't finna get paid. Little apartments ain't finna get paid. All type shit. Little um little um school little things ain't finna. Mm. Luckily, they ain't got paid out before school started. I'm just trying to tell you, but this is going to affect a lot of people, and rightfully so. The OnlyFans community um, should have an issue with it if they're in that line of work because they built the business. They put their bodies out on the line to build a business that now saying we can't get proper funding. When OnlyFans get a cut, from that $4.5 billion that was made. Maybe they want trillions. I don't know. But don't seem like y'all gonna get it after y'all put this band in place. Believe in me. If it ain't no monkeys being showed, it's over. Y'all ain't gonna reach no billion. I could possibly tell you that. Just in my mind. But anyway, I appreciate y'all for rocking. Sad day. Sex work got to get back out there and the screen. Just saying something. <laughs> Shit going to drop down $30. Hard out here for the babies. <sighs> appreciate y'all for rocking. Hell, this is probably why all these companies got these now hiring signs because people ain't trying to go to work. Maybe because a lot of them is on OnlyFans and they like doing like five, six figures and shit like that right there. So, Y'all better hope y'all get y'all goddamn job back. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.